Good morning, YouTube. Uh, so today I'm going to grab one of my dulcimers and start setting stuff up. Um, and it doesn't really matter which one I'm going to grab for this uh, little video. I just need to grab something. And so I'll just grab this guy here. It's fine. Uh, we'll see it in a second. All right. So let me go ahead and transition. Okay, so here is the Walnut Classic down on my operating table. And what I need to do to get this thing all set up is I need to check the width of my cuts for my nut. And then also I need to lower the action of my bridge just slightly. I mean, it's still good, but it needs to go down a little bit more for those of you who... Um, can't push down as hard and it hurts your fingers at first. So that will be my next project here. Um, the strings that are put on here are a 20 and then the rest of them, the three remaining strings are all 10s. And so that's related to a guitar, for example, it would be a G string and three little E strings. Now if I'm tuning it to do the DAD, I might want to change this middle string so Currently, I've been just doing like a 20 and then like a 14 and then those 10s uh, just to get it out the door because I don't want to waste strings. And of course, it's on you. You can change that uh, the gauges if you want to make it a little bit thicker or thinner. So let's go ahead and get the nut and the bridge taken care of. Okay, and the bridge. Okay, let's go in the back room. So before I put my nut and bridge back in the dulcimer, I need to check the back side where my three nails are and just tap them in a little bit. Make sure that they're seated a little bit better. Put my hammer away. Then we take out my file, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the edges of my frets here so you're not going to cut yourself and it's not going to feel so bumpy. <sighs> Looks really nice. Now I just need to get me a little paintbrush. Get the filings off the pretty fretboard. And inevitably, when you hang it up, you're going to see some fret filings. It just happens. Unless you're a perfectionist, uh, which I will probably say that I'm not. Anyways, we got that all dusted off. See? Missed a little bit there. Now we need to put my nut and my bridge back in. Go ahead and slide that thing down there. And go ahead and line things up. And of course, they will fall in the place once we get it back. So um, at this point, we need to check the action. So make sure that uh, bridge is actually low enough on the back end. And we will see that once we start tuning things up. So, of course, I tune it to the original tuning, which is the 155 tuning and if you don't know what I'm talking about please go into my other videos uh, and and kind of do some research so if you want to understand why I do the DAA as opposed to the DAD 
go ahead and check out my other videos because um, I feel like I do a, a thorough, um, you know, examination of the the reasons. Anyways, now that we have the strings tight, we can look down under and see the action. And I think that action is pretty low. So that's a good sign. Hopefully when we get it tuned up, nothing's going to be buzzing. So let's go ahead and get a proper tuning to it. I'll use my tuner here. Now that we got it tight, it's not gonna do that buzzy sound anymore. And we like to put it in E. So E is, I pass it just a little bit, there we go. And I'm wondering if you can actually see that on my tuner, on the screen, yes you can, okay. And then this one here needs to go down to a B because it's the first note of the scale and then the remaining three strings are the fifth note of the scale, of the scale E. And so we need to go back down on this one here and then at the same time, I need to make sure that the strings are uh, kind of uh, in the right position. So here is my other B. Okay. In theory, this should sound really well. So let's go ahead and grab me a pick and strum on it. I like using those, uh, those 60 grip picks. Uh, these are the nylon Dunlop picks, and so let's give it a go. Wow, it's kind of like the skateboarding videos. If they um, get a brand new skateboard set up, uh, and they do their first kickflip on it, first try, then it's going to be a lucky board. Well, this has a fantastic sound. So we know that this is going to have a, a wonderful life. So isn't that amazing how that sounds? Absolutely incredible tone there. All right, so all there is left to do on this dulcimer is to put the stickers on it and put it on my wall. So uh, this is a fun little... Uh, video to show you what I do to get things all set up before it gets back on the uh, wall. This one was actually a breeze. Um, rarely ever on our Cedar Creek Dulcimers and Walnut Classics will I ever have to do major, you know, changes to it. Um, there's other dulcimers, of course, that you might have to file the frets, recap them off, put brand new strings on it, nutting the bridge in the proper location. There's a lot of work to it. But when it comes to these Cedar Creek dulcimers, they're practically flawless. I mean, just a little bit of setup and we're done. So guys, let me go ahead and get my stickers on it and we will go ahead and play. All right, so here we are back at the table and I just thought of something. Um, for any of you guys wondering if I can turn this dulcimer left-handed, you bet I can. So this this nut that's up here, it's a you know it, you saw me slide it in. Well, uh, it's actually reversible, so I can have these two lines on that side, that center one still there, and that line on that side, just by flipping it around. And then all I got to do is just change the strings. So it doesn't matter where my pegs actually are. Uh, because the intonation point is that zero fret. So, uh, like I said, just in case you were curious. Now I got the stickers on, and it's time to play on a solid surface, because that table um, had an opening. So let's hear the difference here. Okay. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and share it with your friends. Show people uh, my little process of getting the uh, Walnut Classic all set up. Um, I only got 
six more to set up today. So, uh, you know, hopefully it is busy today. That's why I came in early, though, to get stuff done. And guys, have a fantastic blessed day, and I'll see you in the next video.